Hello, welcome to this tutorial in the A10. Today we're going to be looking at an ILS or instrument landing system approach using the instruments in the cockpit. In the last tutorial, we looked at landing visually in clear conditions. As you can see now, however, not only are we landing at night, but there's also complete cloud cover, making an ILS approach the only way we'll be able to land. Our nav computer is directing us to our final approach point. This is the point at which we'll pick up the glide slope and localise it from the tower, which will guide us safely down onto the runway. Let's turn to that heading now using the HSI. This should all be familiar if you've watched the navigation tutorial. Once we reach the approach point, the ADI will come to life with two yellow bars, one horizontal and one vertical. To ensure we are on the correct course and sinking at the correct rate, we'll aim to keep those two yellow bars forming a perfect cross in the centre of the ADI. You'll see this in action once we reach the final approach point. Okay, we're almost back on the correct course towards our final approach point now. And then we'll begin descending and bleeding off speed. Okay, I'm going to make my descent now as we just turn towards our final approach point. In a moment we'll enter the cloud layer and obviously there isn't much to see outside the cockpit so we'll keep our head down using our ADI and HSI to ensure we're flying the correct course. We use the altimeter to keep an eye on our altitude, along with our VSI and airspeed indicator to make sure we're not descending too quickly. Just like a visual landing, we want to have our speed down to around 130 knots by the time we turn onto our final approach. Now I've just turned the wingtip lights on. And applied the air brake just to get our speed down a little bit. As I mentioned in the last tutorial, we don't want to be diving down. Okay, we've passed 150 knots, so I'll just dial in 15 degrees of flaps. Keep an eye on your speed. With flaps extended, it does cause drag, and your speed will begin to bleed off far more rapidly. Alright, we've passed the final approach point, 
confirmation from the tower confirms we're cleared to come in and notice the ADI has sprung to life with the ILS bars. I've brought our gear down with the G key and confirmed three green lights. So now let's get on the correct heading with the HSI first of all and then we can fine tune with the ADI. I've engaged full landing flaps with the shift and F keys. Again trim accordingly and keep an eye on your speed. Okay, take a look at this vertical yellow bar. This represents the localizer, which is the runway heading and it's off to the left at the moment, so we'll fly to the left to slowly bring it back into the centre of the ADI. Notice it moving? Okay. We'll shallow out the bank as it approaches the centre. and then just make fine adjustments to keep it centered there. About there. Okay. Now we've got the runway directly in front of us, let's talk about our descent rate. This horizontal bar represents our glide slope. We keep our nose level, just like in a visual landing, and then we want to use small throttle adjustments to increase or decrease our descent rate. To keep that yellow bar centered. Okay, we're very slightly below, so I'll just dial in a little bit of extra throttle just to slow our descent rate slightly. Keep an eye on your gauges. We can see the runway now, but don't fly for the runway. Use your gauges. Okay, that's our final landing clearance, so we're clear to make our landing. Again, keep your head down, keeping those two yellow bars in the center of the ADI. That series of beeps uh, represents the Airbase's outer marker. As we cross the threshold, um, not the threshold, the out the perimeter fence, we'll get another more rapid series of beep beeps. We're coming in nicely here. My head is still down in the cockpit looking at the ADI here. Glancing up occasionally at the runway just to... See how things are going. Exactly the same as a visual landing. As we cross the threshold, we'll throttle back to idle and pitch the nose up slightly to settle the rear wheels on the runway first. Pitching back now. Touch down, lower the nose wheel onto the runway. And stamp on the wheel brake with the W key. And we are safely down. Okay, the main points again. Keep the horizontal and vertical needles in the center of the ADI. It's a very sensitive instrument, so use very small adjustments. 
keep the nose level and use the throttle to increase or decrease your descent rate. Most importantly, keep your head down in the cockpit and don't fly for the runway. Use your gauges. The next tutorial will be on the A-10's Mighty Cannon and also Rocket Arm armaments. If you'd like to join me on that tutorial, I'll place a link in the description box below. Thanks very much, it's been my pleasure.